God, we just want to thank you for your tangible presence right here in our house. Holy Spirit, we just wait on you. And you'll never fail us. And you'll confirm your word. You'll confirm your word with signs and wonders. Lord, we just pray tonight for your wonderful servant who's come to serve and who serves you. As a family, oh Lord, we just bless him. We release the very touch of God. Let your touch be there which you use him all the time. We just bless him, we bless his ministry, we bless his family. And tonight we just bless each one of us who are here right in this house. And even as we look to the other three days, oh God, that we believe that you work in ways that we cannot see. Thank you that each one of us, O oh Lord, who has come here with an expectant heart, will receive a hundredfold. Because you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think or imagine. Wow. We just receive that, Lord. That, we, that you're able to do exceedingly, abundantly. About all that we could think or imagine. Yes, Lord. We thank you, God, that we receive from you more than what we could think or imagine by the power that works inside of us. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated before the servant of God just comes. Let me just give you some housekeeping rules. I don't know whether we have an MC for tonight. I just thought uh, tell you so <clears throat> those of you who know who's come from the side, people are telling which side is the entrance. Well both sides are the entrance. We got this side, that side, and also we have the voice that you use. Some people came from the old facility. This is a new facility that we have, we just opened it in November. So we have toilets on to my left. All right, so if you go and use this door, if you want to use the washrooms, you can go straight. In case they're occupied, you can also use the one on voice. And also, there are a lot of toilets, washrooms available in the building. So if you're taking the elevator as you go out, you can use the elevators. Level 1, level 2, level 3, all of them have got washrooms. So uh, there's water available. So when you want to use it, you're free to do that. It's right here as you exit here. So we look forward to two minutes. All right, so um, I'm just wondering what do we do for two minutes, all right? More worship, all right. So you want to do another two songs? You're good? I guess it was wonderful to just worship God, you know. <clears throat> time, there's no time when we just worship, right? Amen. It's so wonderful to just enjoy the. Oh, come, let us adore. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him.
best worship I've ever heard. It was seriously, it was seriously amazing. I was, I was holding the camera trying to take all the videos and I felt like dancing, honestly. 
So anyways, I know you guys have been waiting long enough for the man of God. I will not take much time. Let me just uh, quickly introduce you about, if you do not know about his ministry, I'll just quickly introduce you about the man of God, Apostle Charles Anderson, who's been in ministry for almost 30 years. He has impacted over 88 nations around the world. And uh, his message has ministered love to the hurting world and brought healing to millions of people around the world. Well, this is just information. I'm sure you're going to see the practical side of it as he comes up here to minister. Uh, he is an author of uh, many books, counselors to presidents and... Uh, Just raise your hands up. Let's just let's just thank him for what he is going to do and what he has started doing. Just take a moment, just loving him, just loving him tonight, just loving Jesus tonight. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Just raise your hands up to him. Just forget who is here tonight. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Father, we honor you tonight. You deserve the lifting of our hands. You deserve the lifting of our hands. You deserve the lifting of our hands. Just raise your hands and just talk to Him. Just talk to Him. When we lift up our hands, it is an offering to you and in liberty we worship and we pray as we lift up our hands it is an offering to you and in liberty we worship and we pray you the same you the same the lifting of our hands you the same you the same you the same the lifting of our hands Let's sing it together. You the same, you the same, you the same, the lifting of our hands. You the same, you the same, you the same. The lifting of the hand. You the same. You the same. You the same. The lifting of a hand. You the same. You the same. You the same. As we lift our hands, it's an offering to you. And in liberty, we worship and we pray. As we lift our hands, it's an offering to you. And in liberty, we worship 
the same Feel the same Lifting Let's clap our hands and just celebrate Him. Do you know tonight? Wait, you haven't come to meet me, you have come to meet Him. Keep your thoughts on Him tonight. The Bible declares three simple words. Looking unto Jesus. Whatever need you have tonight, the fact that you're here is faith enough to receive. You don't have to struggle. Tonight, it will be very easy. Very easy tonight. Some of you have struggled for years. Some of you have been hurt by people close to you. You've been disappointed Tonight, those burdens can be dropped at the altar. You've had a long week already. All the worries of the week, you can leave them behind, you can leave them behind. There's healing for everyone in this place. You see, I didn't come here tonight because we just needed to have a meeting. I came here because God sent me. I came on an assignment here. You have prayed and God has answered. That's why we have this meeting tonight. That's why the meetings are here tonight. That's why we have this meeting this In a short time, there will be all kinds of miracles happening. Some of you have struggled too long. Some of you feel like your dreams have died. A common good news is resurrection time. You are about to enter into your finest days. You get ready, something amazing is going to take place tonight. You've waited too long. You've cried many nights. But tonight, God has an assignment, and it's to meet with you. Something has happened already. Just raise your hands up. Do you want to be healed? You're in dialysis, your kidneys are failed, yes. and the doctors cannot help you. No. Do you like a new kidney? <laughs> How did you hear about the means? A friend of us, she's been healed. Something new is going to happen to you. You see, tonight we didn't come to struggle. The struggles are over. I'm looking at even your, your kidneys, I'm looking at your eyes, I'm looking at your circulation, looking at diagnosis, looking at a couple of things. Those things are all done. So as I'm speaking to you, you've been, you've been some of the pain you've been having, you had some pain, is that correct? Where was your pain? I mean, a lot of, the whole body pains. Okay. On the day of the dialysis, it's impossible. Yeah. Turn around. Just turn all the way around. All the way around. All the way around. You see, you have pain where? Where's your pain? The whole body. Check it again, just to be sure. Check your body and see where your pain is. Can you find any pain right now? No. 
No pain? No pain at all? Come on, let's clap your hands and give it a prayer. No pain at all? No pain at all? No pain at all? Not what it used to be. Not what it used to be. Where do you have any weakness right now? My legs, uh, I'm very weak lungs because of the dialysis. So, walking a long distance is difficult? It's a very long So, can you run normally? Yeah, very difficult. Very difficult? So if you ran, what will happen? You'll be out of breath? Yes, definitely out of breath. Are you sure? Yes. Run over there, come back now. Run, go, now, go, 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 is there any tightness in your lungs right now? This, this place? I take another breath again. How is that? Isn't that easy? You like that? That's how easy Jesus makes it. Yeah. Hallelujah. See, in fact, the Lord has told you that you were scheduled, that you needed a transplant and that you could not even be on that because things were so bad and um, basically the dialysis was just something to keep you alive a little longer and also because of that you lost a lot of businesses because of this condition yes. and you, you wanted to travel but you've not been able to travel because of this condition uh, am I correct? correct? and I'm also looking at some people actually defrauded you because they thought that you were going to die and that, is that correct? Yeah, 100%. Can somebody say hallelujah? Have I met you before? No. Never? Never. See, the God that I serve just showed me your father. You didn't come here just to be healed. You came here for full recovery. Those things that was taken away from you you go get it within one week. God sent me here to sign off on your prayers. Amen. And I'm also looking, even some of your relatives, even back home, have been, have been all, all kinds of fight about property and things. God is sorting those things out now. And you are coming back stronger than when you were before. You have a new kidney. In fact, you have two new kidneys. I was looking at the right one. Basically, that one was basically gone. You, the, the, just, the other one is barely there. Is that correct? Correct. How would I know that? Jesus! Jesus! Everybody say hallelujah. Hallelujah! I've never met you before. No. This is the first time you've seen me. Yes. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. So everyone that came here today, everyone that came here today, you came because you were marked for promotion. So God is doing something fresh with you. When we were washed, I closed my eyes and I could see you. I mean, I was looking at where you stayed up. You stayed upstairs and I was watching. And I've seen you sometimes having difficulties even going up and down. Because I'm looking at your house, I'm looking at your bed. And sometimes getting up in the morning is a chalk. Is that correct? Okay. And I was looking at your bedroom sometimes. At you. It looks very close to the bathroom. Even going to the bathroom at night is difficult for you. True. But as I'm speaking to you, your body is being made new with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Quite a, not a, lot, a lot of money was taken away from you, was lost. Yes. And because of that, you've not been able to go and do what you wanted to do. You've not been able to get out. You've not, you've been stuck. It's coming back to you. I came to sign off on that. Are you hearing me? Yes. 
Check your body now. All the weakness is gone. Go down and touch your toes. Check your back. Quickly. Don't be afraid. Up. Down again quickly. How's your body? Is it feeling better now? Better? Yes. Are you happy? Awesome. Let's clap our hands. Our hands. Right. Watch your hands. Case closed. Amen. Just raise your hands up to me. He's here right now. He's here. in your ankle and uh, all down your leg from the knee down from here down so it's like open sores it's like open wounds yeah. 
go to the go to the main tree, put some water, it will start disappearing now. Go do it. Somebody go with him. Don't worry. Now, by the way, let me show you a seal. First, come here. Come here. Come here. First of all, you normally have a lot of pain because of it, right? You normally have a lot of pain because of the ulcers. Are you sure? Are you sure you have pain? Are you sure you have pain? Is there any pain right now? No. He's smiling. <laughs> because when you are walking, you're walking like this. I thought, no, you can't go there with pain. You get healed completely. Within 48 hours, you won't see any of the wounds. Okay. Let him just put some water there. You find that the wounds are closing right now. Do it. Let's clap our hands and give him praise. Excruciating pain in your knees. It's actually you need a new cartilage. I see your bones are doing this. Yes. And um, that's what when I mean. touched you, that's what I saw. That's what okay. I mean. The doctor said that. Uh, not only that, I'm looking all the way back here, a lot of pain. I'm looking at your hip, yeah, just a lot of pain. Yeah. Say that again? The hip just started. You started? Two days ago. You want all of them to be healed? Yeah, I want to dance with you. You want to dance? <laughs> now, do this. Don't be afraid. Do this. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I don't feel that. You were afraid at the beginning. Move it again. Hallelujah. So you're preparing to dance. Now do this. Step on that. Now, step on it. Step on it. Don't be afraid. Again, harder. Don't be afraid. Now, harder. Don't be afraid. Do it like this. Now, don't lift it up. Hit it down. Now, you know why I'm saying this? It's a fear has been tormenting you for a while now. I know the bones are together. I know the bones are doing this. But you want new cartilage. Yeah, and the gap. There's no gap. Yeah, don't worry. And listen to me. I said, you want new cartilage? Yes. That's all I wanted to say. New legs. New legs. Now do this. Don't be afraid. Just kick it out. Again. Again. Now do this. That's it. Don't be afraid. Do you know after a while when you're used to a condition, you compensate for it? Yeah. When they tell you something, you're afraid. Now walk up and down, really. For how long has it been? One year. One year. Walk up and down. That spirit of death is broken from your family. Oh, and the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, those dark clouds that have been over you are cut off now. In the name of Jesus, no more mourning in your family. Seems like everything you touch, I could see it dying, but from today, life will come. I'm looking at the relationship, business, everything. All of those things tonight, we cut the enemy's plan from your life. You've even started doubting yourself. 
Tonight, you will sleep well. That pain in your heart is, is gone. Yeah, My it's teeth. gone. Ooh. It is gone. Uh, no more of this. Everything now come out of her. Jesus. Everything out. Everything now. Listen now. Let it go. Jesus name. In Jesus name. Peace returns to your heart. Peace returns to your life. The days of struggles are over. Hallelujah. Come on, let's clap our hands up for yourself. You will rest from tonight. No struggles. See, actually, I see a new business for you. Come on, let's clap our hands and praise God. Now, you see it over there? See over there, just bend your knees up and down. Like, don't be afraid. Now, how many of you are ready for your miracle? See, I came here to sign off on your prayers. Amen. How many feel that God is here? How many feel the Holy Ghost is here? How many feel that Jesus is here? Hallelujah. God is moving all over this place. He is here. Condition. God's healing you completely. 
quickly. Quickly. Hallelujah. We'll do this very, very quickly. Hallelujah. He is here tonight. Amen. Amen. Now, one of the things I would love to talk to you about is understanding how to receive from God. We pray, but not a lot of people know how to receive. God is very generous. Did you hear me? He is big, he is rich, he is wonderful. He is very generous. The problem is, sometimes we pray, I would not know how to take it. Are you hearing me? It takes two feet to walk by faith. You have the pray foot and the take foot. Some of us have prayed too long, but it's time to receive. Can somebody say amen? Can somebody say amen? See, our biggest problem is not whether God wants to answer. The problem is whether we know when He speaks. Because I know people pray. How many of you here pray? Can I tell you, God is interested in you. Say, God is interested in me. Say it again. Say, God is interested in me. Amen. Now we'll do this very quickly. Now, what does the problem quickly? Sorry, did. Are you sure? Touch your toes quickly. Go down quickly. Up. Again. How is that right now? Let's clap our hands and praise God. Are you telling the truth? Yes. Check it again. Come on, let's clap our hands and praise God. I told you this is easy. To be healed is an interesting way about you. Back pain and diabetes. Sit down, stop wasting my time. <laughs> what is it to me? Blood pressure and uh, nerve. Pinch, sciatic nerve. Uh, and I have symptoms of fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia. I'm retention and I don't understand. It's gone. Yeah. Go back to your seat. And we're going to say hallelujah. You know, it's not very difficult. You see, the big problem is we want to pray. <coughs> I didn't come to pray. You prayed already. God is not deaf. You heard it the first time. Can I have a big amen? You know, most Christians say, can you pray for me? And the first thing I say is, can you pray for yourself? See, do you know I'm here? I'm here because God answered you. Amen. Amen. Now, I want you to notice what happened. We didn't, we didn't come because we were invited. We came because we were sent. Amen. We bought our tickets. I have my daughters and my sons here. She came all the way from Washington, D.C. She where is uh, this? She came all the way from Nairobi, Kenya, just for this meeting. Why? To bless you. Amen. Can somebody say amen? Now, why do we do this? Because the Bible says God has heard the cries of his people. And he's sending a deliverer. Amen. Can I have a big amen? God always answers like that. You see, when you pray, God will answer. The way he answers is he sends his children to God. The man called Peter was praying. And two men from Joppa were coming to see him. God was telling me, people are coming to see you. Why? Because there's a man called Cornelius. He's been, he's been praying and he's been sowing and God heard him. There's something you do that can just gets God's attention. In Acts chapter 10 it says, his prayer and his giving became a memorial. For that to be possible means you have done something to get God's attention. Can you have a big amen? amen? Now, the word memorial means if you pass through Dubai, you see some memorials to the great heroes. Is that correct? You see some places, put some signs. That's a memorial. The Bible says his prayer and his giving became a memorial. When I got up coming here, the, the scripture God spoke to me. Just a statement he made. 
He says, because I live, you shall live also. Amen. So I was reading John 14 verse 19. I'm going to come back to Acts chapter 10. I was reading the scripture and uh, went back to Revelations chapter 1. God was speaking. He said, I am he that was dead, but I'm alive. I was dead. I'm, I'm alive forevermore. And if he's alive forevermore, he says, because I live, you shall also amen. live. Can somebody say amen? Tell him you're not dying. Say I'm not dying. Now, we just came back. In fact, just the day before I started coming here, a precious lady, 84 years old, was dying. In fact, everybody came to say goodbye. You know what I said? I said, listen, if you're going to die, don't die because of a sickness. Die because you're, you're done with enjoyment. Can I have a big amen? How many of you know that God wants you to enjoy? So, actually, it's in your Bible. The Bible says, He has given you all things to enjoy. Question is, are you enjoying life? Oh, I hear some people say, well, when I get to heaven, I enjoy. I just look at them and say, my God, you're wasting all the enjoyment here. <laughs> Amen. Amen. See, some Christians are waiting to go to heaven to enjoy. Now, if enjoyment is bad here, it must be bad in heaven. Yes. Am I telling the truth? So you might as well enjoy here and also enjoy there. Now, I've heard some Christians say this to me. They said, well... <laughs> You know, there's a heaven to gain. I've heard that before. They say there's a heaven. They make heaven a reward. Am I correct? Heaven is not my reward. Did you hear that? Now, if you own a house, and I come to you and I say, I'm going to reward you with your house, what would you think? It's already mine. Why would I be rewarded with my house? I am from heaven. Heaven cannot be a reward. That's where I live. I just visit earth. Amen. So Jesus said, let your will be done. He said, let your will be done as it is in. That means, if it is fun in heaven, bring it here. Can you have a big amen? I've heard some people say, well, you know, we're waiting to go to heaven. I said, my goal is to bring heaven here. Can I have a big amen? The world around us needs to experience heaven. Can you walk into a place and just smile and heaven smiles at them? Can I have a big amen? That's a different mentality from, oh, I want God to bless me. I don't want God to bless me. I'm already blessed. I want to bless people. Can I have a big amen? Now, why am I saying this to you? Is God does not want you to be sick in the first place. I say to the people, I said, if this mama is going to die, she's not going to die because of a sickness. If she wants to get healed and then die, that's fine. Why die because of a sickness? Now, somebody said to me, do you have to die of something? I said, why not die of just, God takes your breath and you go home. You know you're going to die. He said, guys, come over here. You've been 150 years old. In good health. Can I have a big amen? I mean, you don't get smart at 60 and then die at 70. That's a waste of smarts. Am I correct? You've got to be smart enough. You get to 60 and you have at least another 60 to go for it. Am I correct? So that 80 years old, you're very strong. No, not at 80, you're dragging around. No, 80 years old, you're looking very fresh. Can I have a big amen? Now, do you know that most people is how you think that determines how you live? How what you believe is what you live. Your believing determines your living. I believe in good health. I don't believe in being sick. I've not been sick in 34 years. Amen. Now somebody will say to me, but supposing one day you get sick, I said there's no supposing in this business. You don't speak for me. I have my own mouth. You know, people will tell you, everybody gets sick. I said, not me. Speak for yourself. Don't let people plant the wrong seed in your garden. 
can I have a big amen? amen. If anybody is going to be poor, it's not going to be you. Can I have a big amen? amen. Let me tell you something. You cannot enjoy life without resources. Am I telling the truth? Am I talking to people that really understand this? Can I tell you, poverty is not a lack of resources. It's a lack of creativity. Can I say that one more time? A person is not poor because they lack the resources. They are poor because they lack the imagination. Let me explain that. A poor man sits on a ground and is crying he has no house. When he has the soil there to make bricks and build a house. He's complaining he has no house, but is sitting on the material that can build a house. Am I telling the truth? Am I telling the truth? So God wants us to be creative, creators of things. Can I have a big amen? amen. See, our big problem is not the devil. Our problem is ignorance. Are you with me? Are you with me? It's like this. You came today and the diabetes is gone. The, uh, the uh, kidney condition is healed now. And in the next one and a half hours, you're going to use the bathroom just by yourself. And your body is processing now. You're going to feel like you're in the bathroom shortly. Your body is processing because normally you don't do that. That's why you go for dialysis. So your body is going, to, it's going to process and you're going to use the, the restroom just normally. Okay? You're back to normal living. Amen. Amen. Now, when I say this, we have to learn how to receive from God. How many of you are ready for that today? Now, one of the things, because this is the first night, we want to build this because I would really want to teach you how to win every day. How many of you know you can win every day? Somebody said, we win, some we lose, and I said, speak for yourself. <laughs> Have you heard that before? No, because the Bible says, He causes us to triumph always. Not sometimes. Always. Everybody say always. always. Now, how can you be winning always? Let me explain something. When situations happen in your life, your life is not determined by those things. What determines what you do is your response to it. Can I have a big amen? amen? Now hear this. People can act crazy around you. It's not whether they act crazy, it's how you respond to their craziness. Am I telling the truth? Now if somebody's acting crazy around you, what do you do? Just smile. They don't know why you're smiling. Am I telling the truth? They get confused. Because when they act crazy, they want you to panic. When you smile, they have nothing. They can't think it. I said, okay, what's going on? You're supposed to panic. Am I right? Yeah. And then don't react. Respond. Are you hearing me? Yeah. You hear bad report? Don't react. Respond. When Jesus heard that Jairus' daughter was dead, you see, Jesus was going to Jairus' house and he just heard, don't bother the master, your daughter is dead. That was bad news. Jesus did not react. He did not react. He responded. The moment he heard that, he said, fear not, only believe. Everybody said, only believe. Only he said to him, don't be afraid. Because he knew what bad news was. Maybe you just heard that your business, something is happening to the business. Just smile. Tell them, fear not. Amen. Can I have a big amen? amen? I came here because some of you, your business, you've come to such a low point that you don't even recognize yourself. Yes. I've come here to sign off on your comeback. Amen. I said I've come to sign off on your comeback. Amen. Can somebody say amen? amen? By this time and six months from now, people will not even recognize you. Are you hearing me tonight? I came to sign off 
on what things have been holding you back with taking it out of the way. Do you know some of you, if, if I wanted to go prophetically one by one, you know, we don't have enough time for that. That's why I'm giving this to you. Because this is what happened. Some of you, there's some resources that were supposed to come your way, but other people withheld it. Somebody said something about you that caused them to change their mind about you yes. and with help it. I cancel that tonight in Jesus' name. You are getting your resources. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? You are getting it. Whatever thought they had about you before, it's changing. I say it's changing. From tonight, they will look at you with favor. I said they will look at you with favor. Why am I saying this? Because this is just the first night. Uh, this I call this the warm up night. We are warming up. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? See, your business is about to come back stronger. Some of you have been waiting for. By the way, the school paper is coming in in less than ten days. The music school, the papers are coming in. It's coming faster than you think. Get ready. Coming. So it's going to be very, this time you have no more limitations. You're going to build the way you sell it. Can somebody say amen? amen. Hallelujah. And you, the recordings you guys have been thinking about, get ready. A new sound is coming. Amen. I say a new sound is coming. Amen. And uh, before God starts a revival, he introduces a sound on the earth. No revival starts without a sound. Acts chapter 2 says, and a sound came from heaven. There's a sound God is releasing tonight. It's releasing it for you guys. You guys get ready. Can I have a big amen? Revival is going to break out. It's going to break out all over the God region. It's going to break out all over the Indian subcontinent. God is about to release a wave of glory. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Something is happening already. There's an atmosphere God is being like. You'll be riding with a new anointing. The songs are going to pour out of you. Are you hearing me? There's a new sound coming in. See, when that sound comes in, it will become what sets the momentum, just ride the wave. Are you hearing me? Yes. There are people watching us. God is turning situations around. Amen. Can somebody say amen? amen? Can somebody say amen? amen? Some of you just had some bad reports from home. Listen to me. By tomorrow morning, the reports are changing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready for the good report? Yes. See, you heard some bad report before you came. But guess what? It's turning around. In fact, by the time you get back, you're forgetting a text message. Yeah. Somebody say hallelujah. Come here, lady. Come. Because God is doing something. They are not taking it from you.
way around. By the time you get back tonight, you're gonna get a phone, phone call and a text message. God is adding it to you. And that's the situation that you turned around. There's life. Of death. What happened to him? He's going to go back to the doctors with a brand new heart. Yeah. You're not keeping him away from you. Okay? By tomorrow, he will go back. There's going to be a report. Can somebody say amen? God has answered you, sweetie. Okay? Amen? Let's clap our hands and thank you. Let's sing it one more time. Thank you every morning. We already paid for those things. We want to take care of all the other things that is in UAE. Amen. Amen. Any expense in the UAE, we want to take care of it. That way, you are investing in this region. We came because God answered. Now, I'm looking at some of you here. Just close your eyes and raise your hands. Close your eyes, raise your hands, everyone. Some of you have been abandoned. People have walked away from you. And these are people you trusted. They walked away from you. They lied about you. They say things against you. And your heart has become so heavy. You have given them your best. And they lied about you. There is forgiveness tonight and there is healing for you. Sometimes that pain is more than the physical pain we face. 
sometimes just a broken heart. The Bible declares a broken heart will commend. And the Bible also answers and says, He heals the brokenhearted. And He binds up their wounds. He's healing your heart tonight. Every rejection, every abandonment issues. Tonight, His love is flowing again in your heart. It's healing you. Some of you were used and abused. We're taken advantage of. And you felt so belittled, so diminished. But there is restoration. He is faithful to do what He has said. All you have to do, some of you just need to let go of something. Of that bitterness or just letting go of some people and saying, Lord, I want to step fresh tonight. I want us all to say, say, Father, say, Father, thank you for loving me. Thank you for seeing me at my best, not at my worst. I believe tonight you love me so much and you paid for me to be free of every mistake, every sin I've ever committed. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. I love you so much, Lord. And tonight, I forgive those that hurt me. I forgive them tonight. I release them tonight. Every bitterness in my life, and let it go. Fill me with sweetness. With an oil of joy. Thank you Lord. For not giving up on me. I am yours Lord. I belong to you. Thank you for loving me. I am free. I am free. I am free. In Jesus name. Come on let's clap our hands and give them praise. Two things that get God's attention. Praying and giving. God never turns his ears away from a, a, a sinner that wants to get saved. God never turns his attention away when you can release a seed. What are we going to do just for tonight? We want to make sure we give an opportunity. Paul made a statement. He said, I know you have a, 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 a nice heart to give. Now, I can tell you guys this. Where should you? Come. When I said I was coming to Dubai, did I say I wanted anything? No. I'm just making sure. I'm a straight person. I don't want anything from you. All I want is to bless you. Amen. Can I have a big amen? amen? But we want to bless this house for hosting us. Can I have a big amen? Yeah. Amen? Amen. Yeah. So when I come to Dubai, this is like a shopping place for me. So I come to shop. <laughs> but I come to bless you. Amen. So I came with Johnny and uh, we came with Ning and uh, Lucy. And why did we come here? Because you are worth the investment. Did you hear what I said? Yes. You are worth the investment. Amen? Yes. But in investing, you have to stretch out and say, I'm a part of it. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes. That means tonight, we're going to give you an opportunity to sow a seed. Everybody said a seed. seed. You want to sow a seed just to take care of the cost of having this place. I mean, you guys have been amazing hosting us and um, taking care of But We want to make sure we take care of you guys too. It takes a lot to put all the lights and everything. How many of you know that? Yes. Amen. So we want to make sure we can take care of it. Do you know what? If we can just take care of all the expense and anything that has to do with the meeting here, we need to take another offering. You know, I like in the Bible, it said they gave a free heart, a free will offering. It said their hearts were wheeling. So much that they gave that Moses told them, stop giving. I like that. They're giving and giving and giving, and the king said, oh, Moses, uh, there's too much stuff 
Can you tell people to stop? May God bless you so much that when you give, people say stop. Can somebody say amen? See, it takes two things. A willing heart. Everybody say a willing heart. A willing heart. It's very simple. A heart that is willing. And uh, the Bible tells you very clearly how it works. The heart that is willing to give. Now, this is a setup. How many of you know that UAE needs love? Every time you walk down the street, everybody's looking straight. But when you ask them about how is life, they will tell you horror stories. Am I telling the truth? Yes. They will tell you how much pain they're carrying, how much disappointment they're facing. So you don't know, some of them can have a smile because what they thought life was gonna be like didn't turn out that way. Sometimes all they need is a listening ear. Or just a shoulders to listen that will just put your arm there and say, thank you, I just need to rest. Am I telling the truth? We need to raise up people here with an attitude to become love ambassadors. Can I have a big amen? amen. Can I have a big amen? amen? And so one of the things we did was, God spoke to us a couple of years ago to start what we call a, a love revolution. Everybody say love revolution. Love. Say love revolution. love revolution. Now, we have some t-shirts. Where are the t-shirts? We have what's called the Love Revolution Army. It's in different parts of the world. People wear this. We have just a few copies, a few of them, and um, you can you can buy them after this. It's called the Love Revolution Army. You like that? Yeah, it's good. Oh yeah. Let's see. I like the one with the camouflage. I like the military. Spot that during this day, so we have the cute white one. So we have some of this available, very, very few. Just that gets attention. Let me explain to you how it works. When you wear it, people look at you and say, Oh, love forever. You know, people want to read things, right? <laughs> love Revolution Army. What's that? Ah, let's talk. See, I am part of that army. We love on people. Yes. And they look at you, what are you talking about? He said, we love and care about people. God has sent us as love agents to minister love that heals people. Can someone say amen? amen? Just a good conversation piece. We have very few copies, few of them available. I think less than 10 or so. But we have them available in the back there. And the ladies will avail, avail you of whatever you want. They'll talk to you and they can take care of some things. But I want to give you an opportunity. Now, who else needs to be healed or you need uh, you need something to happen tonight? Put your hand up. That way we're not delaying. What do you need? Come. Now, if you all of you that need something, I'm going to give it to you quickly. Just line up. Quick. I'm signing off now. This is what you're going to do. Just line up straight.
Yeah. In a court case, I need justice. Yes, chef. I need my, my partner. Done. And a new job for me. Done. What else do you need? I need to see him. Signed up. What else? Done. Done. It's a very big blank check. <laughs> Come on, let's clap our hands and praise God. It's done. Now, let me explain to you. It sounds so simple. That's the same way when we go to hospitals, the whole hospital is discharged. We were in Kenya at the Kenyatta National Hospital, and you were here. And also to the Spinal Injury Hospital, the National Spinal Injury Hospital in Nairobi. Miracles everywhere. Now, seven of the wards in the Kenyatta National Hospital, completely discharged. Now, that was our 53rd hospital we've cleaned out. So, and it's that simple. We come to them and say, get up and walk. The people crippled, get up and start walking. And the people are surprised, the doctors are surprised. Now, if we did it all complicated, people might think, wow, they're really trying. But when it's God, it's easy. Can I have a big amen? What do you need? Why? Probably an injury. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm just checking. Let's go back to your seat. <laughs> Let's clap our hands and praise God. No. Now, come in closer. I'm trying to try and clear some space. What about you? Business is not doing very well. It's just something. It's amazing. It's amazing. You talk about you. This business is doing very well. Who told you that? Have you been praying? You don't need prayer. You need wisdom. See, every problem is an ignorance problem. Every solution is a wisdom solution. Can I have a big amen? You see, right now, wisdom is coming to you. Actually, by tomorrow morning, you have the solution to what you're looking for. And uh, you're not going, I see, almost like they're trying to take the business from you and closing it down. It's not going to happen. Because with your words, you're going to speak to that situation. It's going to turn around. They're going to give you extra favor. And the contract is going to come back that you lost. Amen. Because I saw the contract to you. You were supposed to get a contract and it took away from you. It's coming back to you. And it's not just coming back to you. getting double for your troubles. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's clap our hands and praise God. Everybody say hallelujah. Now, come a little closer now. I'm just going to sign off on your troubles. The sign off and it's over. Amen. So we're going to do this very quickly. Just tell me what it is, and it's done. What is it? Good job for my son. Done. Amen. Okay, so go back to your seat. What about you? Sure. Give me a hand. Check it again. <laughs> Come on, let's clap our hands and praise God. Go back and enjoy your miracle. Amen. What else? For well, the cystic ovary in your ovaries? Yes. My period to block, and only once a year I have period. Period once a year? Yes. What do you want? A baby. Ah. <laughs> See, she was talking about something else. That's why I looked at it like, what do you really want? My son wants a baby. He wants? He wants a baby. I know. <laughs> but he's not the one getting pregnant. You're the one getting pregnant. Yeah. So, actually, I'm looking at your ovaries. I see like a knot there. It's just opened up. And I was seeing some of the pain you've been having in the lower abdomen is gone. Down towards your uterus, everything is cleared up now. Amen. It's done. Let's clap our hands and praise God. We can go back to your seat. Now, just to see that no one leaves, because I, I don't want you to miss this. You walk by faith. I like that. Yeah, what do you need? I'm here for my hyperhidrosis. From you? Hyperhidrosis. It's like I'm sweating a lot. Like almost all, all over my body. Like my back. My back, everywhere. My, my armpits. My it's like everywhere. Everywhere? Yes. Are you sure? I'm here. Go back to your seat. Thank Case you. closed. What about you? I want divine favor and restoration. The hell? What? What? Who is that? What's, what's your brother's son? What's wrong? 
Yeah, autism. 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 It's gone. And what do you want? I want divine favor, restoration, and I want to get married. Wow. Okay, how many do you want to get married? The hands are really high up. So, this is this be a lot of celebration within 18 months. Favor. Divine favor. Yeah. You already have favor. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. What about you? I want to pray. I want to divine favor. I want to divine encounter with the Lord Jesus. That's wonderful. Because He's my birthday too. Amen. But I have I have everything. Amen. Amen. Done. Amen. What about you? Come closer this way. I'm trying to get you guys to come closer. What about you? Roller coaster. Yes. You want steady faith yes. that grows. Yes. Do you know the key to it? You know the key to faith that grows. Yes. Focus, looking onto Jesus. Don't take your eyes off Him. People will come and distract you. They will offer you all kinds of things to get you away from your focus. The reason you can ever fail in life is when your focus is broken. When you focus, you can move mountains and no more delays in your life. I see people walk in and out of your life, it's over. No more than walking in and out of your life. When people come in, they're going to help you build. The days of people taking advantage of you is over. Sometimes you, people look at you and don't know what you've been through. You smile, they don't understand what you've, what you've been through. I know, everybody comes to you for help. Everybody expects you to help them, but no one actually will ask you, well, how can I help? Because they expect you to handle everything. But God is turning things around. He said help today. And I'm saying you, you've had businesses, you wanted to do international business, do some things. God has already sorted that out. It is done. You keep asking for one, God is giving you the rest. Amen. You get missed it. You have it. Amen. Amen. Case closed. Really? What part of Cain? Eldoret. Lovely place. So are you from Kenya also? Same place? Yes. All this Eldoret people. What are you guys doing in Dubai? They are so lovely. Amen. It's done. Everybody say amen. Thank you, sweetie. What is it? I'm blind on the right. On the right side? Yeah. How long have you been blind? Yeah. Come here, sweetie. Totally blind in the right one? Yeah. Half of it blind. So it's like half of this eye. What caused the blindness? I had a stroke. You had a stroke. So we're going to go back to the brain and fix it. Okay? It's okay, sweetie. It's very easy. Optic nerve that was damaged is healed. I command you, blind spirit, in the name of Jesus. Now loose the leg off. The eye said, burst it. Close this eye. Close it. Close it tight. Close it. Close this one. The right one is the problem, right? Okay, on the right side. Okay. Half and half. So we can only see the left side. If I do this, you can see, right? Now look straight at me. Okay? Look straight. You can look straight. Can you see this? No. Okay. So I know how to test it. So look straight. Can you see this again? Can you see it? Can you see it? It's okay, I'm testing it, I know what I'm doing. Can you see? Can you see? When you can see, let me know. Can you see the microphone? Yeah, okay. Can you see it now? Yeah. Can you see my hand? Can you see? Look straight. Can you see? Okay, blink your eyes again. Completely, vision restored. Now open the game. Look right here. Can you see this? Can you see this? Can you see any finger? Okay. Now, 
Close your eyes. Close your eyes, open them. Open them now. Can you see this? Yeah. Can you see this? Well, I'm looking at your... You know, yes. Yeah. No, your thumb, no. Can you see? What am I doing here? What does it look like? Like if you're shaking, like, your are Hmm? You can see that, you can see the movement. You know why I'm looking at it? Because of the stroke, I'm looking part of the paralysis is right back here. It's not really the eyes. The eyes are fine, but the problem is in your optic nerve. Half of you is paralyzed. I'm going to command life to come to the optic nerves. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The damage. What I'm looking at, I'm looking at your brain. The problem is not your eyes. Your eyes are clear. But the problem is the brain. I'm looking at almost like a black spot in your brain. And nothing is clearing up right now. That's actually what was causing the blindness. It's clearing up now. Go and get a book and start reading. Just look at it and read left to right. Do it right now. Put your faith in action. Okay? Do it quickly and come back and tell. Everybody say amen. What about you? What do you want God to do for them? She wants him to be saved. To be saved? Yes. Done. To receive Jesus. It is done. Amen. Amen. And the whole house is getting saved. Not just the children. Everybody is getting saved. I see what you have is slight scoliosis. It's like a slight coverture in your spine. That's what it is. You have a lot of pain on one side especially. Yes, I can see that it's part, of, part of it is a scoli scoliosis. Receive, just take your offering, the envelopes here, 
you want to put your offering in there and bring it to the Lord. Is that okay? I'll be back to help you guys. Okay? Just get an envelope. We want to make sure we can give to take care of this. Where is uh, Sebastian? Come. Come up here. Now, when I say, how many of you know Sebastian? Yeah. He's a very hardworking man. And I see him running around trying to organize everything. I just, I love you. <laughs> I say to him, we don't be stressed, relax, because God's people know how to take care of things. Amen. Amen. So you don't, you need not worry. The Amen. people are very generous. They will give generously. Amen. Amen. So you can relax. Amen. Amen. Let's clap our hands and praise God for him. Amen. Look a fantastic chair. Okay. So do you have your offerings ready? Just raise them up wherever you are. Say, Father, Father, just wave it over your head, wave it over your head. Say, your word declares that when I wave it over my head, you will cause the blessings to remain in my house. Thank you, Lord. The blessings will never depart from my house. I am blessed going out, coming in. Whatever I put my hands to do, is blessed in Jesus name everybody say amen. amen and then you can some of you maybe you have you want you want to make a promise really note it's okay put your name and details there but let them have that ready okay where are they going to bring the offerings to put them on the floor put them on the platform here please okay and then when you do that I'll finish ministering to all of you is that okay what do you need my friend you need a job yeah. what kind of job Digital agency. Retail? Digital. Digital. Regional agency? Digital. Digital agency. Digital agency? Digital agency? Are you into the digital business? Yeah. Done. Okay. Do you want more prayer? No. You need to sign up. Sign up. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. What about you? She's having cancer. Where is she? She's in one. Her name is Sarah. Her name is Sarah, I curse the cancer from its roots in Jesus' name. Call her up. She has chemo on Tuesday. Call her up and let her check, check with you. The pain is gone too. I'm looking at her. Actually, she's beginning to collect some water because of the cancer. It's gone now. Check and tell me tomorrow. Okay? Done. Amen. What about you, sir? What's wrong with mom? The cancer. Where is she? Kenya. Kenya? Mm. We're in Kenya. Yeah, Capsidates. Let's go Capsidates. Okay. Stage four. It's just stage one. It just started. Okay. Now come a little bit away from the speaker. This way. This way a little bit. Okay. What's your mother's name? To Fen and Carreri? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Nelly. That's pretty easy. Nelly. Trufena and Nelly. And what's your last name? Chirotich. Why is it different? Uh, culture, culture kind of thing. Culture. <laughs> oh, okay. Because yeah. for some reason I asked that question. I curse the cancer in Jesus' name. Man, I shall live. In fact, call her up now. Man will tell you something just happened to her. Call her up now. In fact, she was sleeping, but she just woke up. Something just happened. 
for our pen. Yeah. What else? What's wrong with your arm? Since when? Do this. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Let's clap our hands and praise God. What about you? Debt free. Debt free? Debt free. It's done. And you have back pain again? Where? Check it again. Go down quickly. Don't be afraid. Up. And the stress that has been on you, it's gone too. See, your back pain wasn't here, it was from here. Tightness all the way down there. And across your shoulders, you had a tightness also. Just move your shoulders again. Most of it was mental fatigue. You're fine. Go back to your seat. Quick. Knee problem. Both her knees are weak. Call her up. She's fine. Okay. Go for this. What about you? That's That's what I'm Come. What is it? I need a job. You need a job? Do you need a job? Or you want to create a job? It's done. Okay? Praise God. It's done. What about you? Passport issues? Property issues? Done. You know, let me explain to you. See, it sounds too easy. There's a young man, my pastor in Kenya, for 30 years, they have had their property 700 acres of land in the equator. 30 years, the government, Paris Tattle, took that from them. And they've been in court for 30 years. He comes to me in the hotel two months ago. I say to him, it's done. They just released it to him after 30 years. 700 acres. He did it for them, he'll do it for you. Amen. Amen. Aha, uh -huh. you were healed the last time I came. That's all. Amen. It is done. Amen. Let's clap our hands and praise God. Powerful testimony. Amen. God bless you. What about you, sweetie? My son Do you want it renewed? Yes. <laughs> you have a speaker behind. <laughs> You want your employment visa renewed? Yes. Done. Who else wants that? Done. It's done, Sidney. Amen. No stress. Good. How about you? Um, financial issues. I need some financial You need wisdom. So you're in terms of financial breakthrough, you think something put in the air, you need wisdom to leverage what you have. Okay? Amen. Leverage is what you need. God is going to give you wisdom. Now, it is done. Amen. Amen. It's done, sweetie. Yeah. It's good to see you. This is my Yeah, what was wrong with that? So now he's been having diabetes, all sorts of small sicknesses, and his body was just really mad all the time. I believe he's healed. I agree with you. Yeah. Amen. 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 Everybody say hallelujah. What about you? I take the first medicine for my husband. I like her. She says she takes the first miracle for her husband. But now she has two sisters. She wants to take their miracle too. Okay. Blessings for the children, for Joshua and for Aaron. Joshua has been his public example. Amen. What else do you want? Everybody say hallelujah. Let's all stand up right now. Stand up. Courage, strength, wisdom, and courage. Pastor? Thank you. You want to talk to me? Yeah, I do. Right. Um, so, I think the last time uh, you were in Dubai, uh, me and my lovely wife, 
um, we've been trying for a baby for a while. I told you guys. I know you we had a word for provision for the baby and now you just want a release for that provision. It is done. Sign seal the delivery. I love that baby, thank him. Come on, let's clap our hands and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Raise your hands wherever you are. Just raise it. To God be the glory, great things He has done, so love the world that He gave us His Son to be and a two, and a two man for sin. Some of you, you're going to bring people that God is going to use that just the fact that you brought them to open up something for you. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Tomorrow is a special night. Amen. You don't want to miss it. I say tonight was a warm up night. Then tomorrow I'm ready. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. I am going to be so ready. Today we were running around everywhere. Just enjoy you too. And who is this cute little one? Give me five. You are too cute. Oh my goodness, I'm taking you home. You can hear your smile. I'll take you home. You want to come with me? Yes, big brother. Everybody say hallelujah. Just raise your hands up. Say, Father. Father. Thank you for tonight. 
thank you for the blessings that we have received. I know whoever I touch will be blessed. Thank you, Lord, for entrusting me with your life. I know things have turned around now. It's victory time in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's clap our hands and praise Him. Hold somebody on the way out and we'll see you tomorrow. Amen.